Hello Slice Dicers, this is Brian with another knife review for you. Today we have the Steel Will Piercer in both versions. Yes, there are two versions of this. It is a design by Tommaso Ramici. Uh, I think he might be Italian. What do you guys think? I think he probably is by that name. Uh, a designer I had not heard of before, but I, I really like the look of this, so I was very eager to get my hands on one. I will say these were provided to me by Steel Will. They did send them to me to review, and you guys are going to win one of these. This uh, black wash version with the G10 liner lock, we'll get into the specific versions in a moment, but you guys are going to win that, but I just want to get that out of the way. Uh, this was a knife I saw pictures of I was really excited about. Uh, it came out, like, uh, was announced pretty close to the holidays, and I honestly just forgot to get a hold of Steel Will and ask for a couple, but they got a hold of me and said, do you want a couple? I said, absolutely. You want to give one away? And they said, sure. So, uh... Some lucky winner for our 5,000 sub giveaway, which is it's coming up in a week or so. Uh, I, I'm, I'm waiting to get everything in my hands before I... It's going to be less than a week, probably. As soon as I have everything in my hands, I'll announce it. But anywho, getting off track. Uh, let's talk more about this knife. It's, it is a very cool design. D2 steel on both of them. As I said, we have a liner lock G10 on one version. And then a slightly more premium version. Still D2 steel with a titanium frame lock. The titanium frame lock only comes in the satin blade. The G10 comes in either this black wash or a satin blade. Uh, I asked for the black wash because, you know, to compare and contrast and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, what you expect from Steel Wheel. Pretty well made. We'll get into all that stuff in a moment. These are from Steel Wheel's uh, China-made line. They are not uh, made in Italy. They do a lot of stuff in Italy, the higher-end M390 things. But it, it's kind of the higher end of what they, they make in China. And, uh, again pretty impressed with the the way that they are they are made let's do some stats before we get too much farther before i go off into a rambling train we're going to use the titanium one uh only because that satin blade shows up a little bit better on the screen line it up here again these are half inch squares again you have an overall length of 7.7 .7 inches blade length of 3.2 inches blade stock is a uh, pretty thin 0 0.12 inches handle thickness 0 0.75 and uh, you have a weight of, we're going to weigh these each individually on screen because they are slightly different, as you'd expect, with slightly different construction. So I'll just show you. Zero out, there we go. 3.9 for the titanium frame lock. And as you'd expect, the G10 liner lock's a little lighter at eh, close enough to call it three and a half ounces. So both uh, not terribly heavy and both in a very good EDC sort of size. Uh, we'll do, uh, I'm gonna do quite a few size comparisons here, just fair warning, uh, because this is a brand new knife and I think it's gonna be a pretty popular one, so I, I wanna do um, a whole lot of size comparisons. We'll put the, again, we'll use the titanium one, not, not just because it's fancier, but, uh, oh, another stat to get out of the way before we do size comparisons, if, the price of these. That's the first thing you guys want to know. I probably should have led with that. So currently they are only available on the Steel Will website. And they are listed for $129.99 for the Titanium Frame Lock and $79.99 for the uh, G10. I don't know what they're going to cost when they hit proper dealers. Um, usually it's a little less. So I'm just taking a wild guess here, like $110, $115, and, you know, Sixty, sixty-five. I'm just taking a wild guess. I will admit, I have no idea. They, they may be the same price. I, I don't know. But um, usually they're a little less. If you look at Steel Wheel's site, just the percentages from what they are on Steel Wheel's site down to what they usually went up at dealers. But if you want one right away, you can buy one from Steel Wheel's website today. Uh, I do think they are going to be uh, on regular sites. I think they said like uh, next week or or later this week, it's, I'm recording this on January 2nd, so everybody's kind of busy right now, post-holidays and all that, but we'll see when they come out. All right, now let's get to the aforementioned size comparisons. We have, first of all, we will compare against the, in one of our usual standards, your Spyderco Paramilitary 2. It's a little bit shorter overall knife, a bit beefier, but as you can see, cutting edge, I'm gonna try and line this up. Cutting edge is very similar to a PM2. Another one of our, our new our new standards for, for this year of 2019 and, and a little bit of last year too, let's be honest. But uh, you have your uh, Kershaw bare knuckle. Get a little bit more cutting edge out of the bare knuckle. But again, a little bit shorter. And we will, oh, 
why not? We'll do the Ontario Rat Model 1. Quite a bit shorter than a Rat Model 1. I'll line up the pivots there. And lastly, uh, one of Steel Will's own models, and especially compared to this titanium frame lock one, one of their other titanium frame locks. This is the Steel Will Resonant TIE Frame Lock D2. Similar construction sort of version, other than it's got carbon on it. Yeah, fairly similar to that. Get a little more blade length out of the steel wheel, but this is obviously a little beefier knife. Um, and then two knives I want to put up here just because they, they both remind me. Like, I thought of these two while I was using this knife. Your Cold Steel American Law Man. Um, very similar, especially in cutting edge. If anything, you get a little bit more with the steel wheel. But still, kind of a, a little heavier duty knife. We'll talk more about that. This isn't, I don't know if I call this a heavy duty knife, but it's its close to it. And here's another one that really reminded me of a lot. Is your Spyderco Manix 2. This is the lightweight version. Doesn't necessarily remind me of the lightweight version, but you get the same size and specs. But as you can see, again, cutting edge, you're getting almost exactly the same. Yeah, it's, uh, it, I really like the overall size package it's gone into and that's saying something because sometimes I'm not a big fan of like these between three and three and a half inch knives sometimes I think it should either be three inch or three and a half just for legality's sake the three twos are kind of in the middle but um this particular one I I really like and it does work extremely well uh, let's talk more about this knife specifically design wise I think it looks awesome uh, I also really like the uh, the look of the uh, of the blacked out version too, and I'm not normally a fan of that, but it, it kind of works for this knife. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. I just the, the overall shape though is just very uh, it's just very attractive to me. It immediately, I immediately just like saw it and was like, oh, I gotta have one of those. It's just it just looks looks really cool. The titanium's very nice on the titanium one. You know, the G10's really good, really excellent quality G10, I have to say. It is is really good quality. Um, I love the way that aesthetically they did the pocket clip. Uh, it does have a lanyard hole, but they didn't ruin the placement of the pocket clip with it. I like the look of this slim little pocket clip. We'll talk about more about that later, but I like the look of it. I like this kind of ovalized hole. A uh, little bit of billboarding, but it doesn't bother me that much. I never get that upset about it. Uh, yes, it is the F40 is the model designation. Different things afterwards, depending on which, whether you're getting the G10 liner or the uh, or the uh, titanium frame lock. Uh, but yeah, design-wise, I really like it. I, I think it look. I think it's a cool-looking knife. And uh, if you don't, I, I think you're a crazy person. I think they they look very very cool. Um, Piercer is a great name for it. It does look very piercing. It does look like it's for yeah. It, it does kind of have that look to it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I really like it. And blade too. Quite happy with. Pretty thin behind the edge, about eighteen thousandths behind the edge, so just about right. And again, not terribly thick blade stock, and f almost exactly full flat grind. It slices really, really well. And as the name would indicate, it's still got a pretty good piercing tip. It's it's a bit a bit dainty at the at the tip, but not much. And it's got that nice swedge on it. Really, it, it it reminds me a lot again, and that's of the Spyderco Manix Two. If you like the way a Manix Two cuts, I think you're gonna like this just as much. And uh, and it's different steels. You know, I don't think you can get a D Two Manix Two currently. Um, and again, D2 Steel, which is good, and Steel Will does a great job with their D2. Good to go there. Again, it's not a, it's not a, uh, not technically a stainless steel, but it's not a steel that you have to pay a whole lot of attention to either. Uh, especially if you have the black wash version, you know, that's going to be fine. It's coated. But um, I like, uh, I don't know if they even call that a black wash. I may be calling it the wrong thing, but, you know, it looks like black wash to me. Um I'll spray some Aegis on this and, and it'll be fine. But other than that, you know, or, or keep some oil on it, whatever. It's D2's always been perfectly fine that way. But I think it's a really good steel choice for this because it has very good edge retention. Uh it's not it's it's not easy to sharpen, but it's not a complete nightmare. And um 
and it, it's a, a good hard use steel. I will say this is one of the best sharpening choils I have seen in a very long time. Look how they just missed the plunge there. Well done, guys. Very good, and it's the same on the other, because it's the same blade on both, but yeah. Sharpening choils, excellently done. I really do appreciate that. Um, I think that's a really cool thing they've done. Uh, now let's talk about ergonomics. That's where, to me, this knife truly shines. Is It is so comfortable in the hand. This nice skinny little pocket clip creates no hot spots. And man, my hand just wants to hold this thing. It's it's really, really good. Like I said, it's January 2nd. I have I got this on uh, New Year's Eve. And I have not stopped carrying it. I've carried it all three days. That's why I'm doing the review already. It's just... I think it's going to wind up being one of my go-tos this year. It's so far, it's just, it just is so comfortable in the hand. It's so good to use. And it still, still I'm trying to get rid of post-holiday cardboard and cutting through a bunch of stuff. And man, it's it, cardboard and all that crap. And man, it's just really nice. I even used it for a bit of food prep. I finally had to give up and put some ham in the freezer because I can no longer eat any more ham. I just can't. I'm more ham than man at the moment. And, uh, and it worked awesome for that. It's just, uh, it, I, I, it's so comfortable, and the jimping is perfect. It's a, it's a maybe, maybe a sco sharp, but uh, I, don't, I don't think that's going to bother me long term because when you need it, it is there and it does work very well. But it's maybe a sco sharp, uh, but yeah, ergonomically, just a fantastic, fantastic knife. Uh, as far as the carry goes, let's bring out the old. Uh, We'll use the black one for this since we're going to be against jeans. And uh, it got this nice deep carry pocket clip. Tension on it's great. Slides in and out easy. And again, it's gone. No more knife. It made that noise. Now, yeah, it looks... It, they do mention in their, uh, their PR stuff that it's meant to kind of look like maybe it might be a pen. And they actually kind of nailed that. It does kind of look like it might be a pen. But it's a very slim clip, but it's long enough that I think you're still getting enough clip to hold it in there. I don't think uh, it needs to be any beefier than it is. It does look a bit slender, but again, it's so long. I think it works fine. Now, action-wise, uh, these do run on Phosphor Bronze washers. I did not take this one apart because it is a giveaway. Uh, I, have, I have not even actually cut anything with this. I've done all my testing with the uh, titanium frame lock. I did take this one apart. And... Uh, lubed it and all that stuff. The action on it is really good. It's it's snappy. The detent's great and all that. But you know, it's, it's bronze washers. There's no flipper. Uh, it works really awesome with the spider flick. I know I'm giving it a bit of wrist here, but I'm, I've got a tripod on my way. You don't need to give it a much wrist at all. Let me see if I can do it without it. Yeah, you see, you still can with no wrist. Um, I think it works better in the spidey flick than it does in the thumb flick, but I'm also not awesome at thumb flicking. So yeah, I think I have something wrong with my thumb from an injury I had a while ago. I'm just not great at thumb flipping, but Spidey Flick, it works great. And the and the thumb flick, it does work great when you don't have, let me move a bit when I don't have a tripod on my way. Yeah, it does work, but I have to give it a bit of wrist for the thumb, but I think that's more my thumb than anything. Action on them is almost identical, really. I know one's a liner lock and one's, but uh, they, this one isn't broken in as much as this, but yeah, they're pretty darn close. Out of the box, I could hardly tell the damn difference, honestly. Um, so it, the action on it is is fine. It's it's not fun. This isn't gonna be a fidget toy knife by any means, but it's perfectly good. Uh, value wise, uh, I think it's pretty good, especially this one, the one that's gonna be the G10 that's gonna be, I'm guessing again, 65 something like that. Um, I think the value is really there in that. It's extremely well built, extremely well designed uh, for a very reasonable price. Now, once you're getting up in here on the uh, frame lock version, yeah, you're getting into PM2 territory. You're getting into a whole lot of knives in that territory. It, it might not be as good a value. Uh, I like the look of it better, but... Um, ergonomically, and this is something I didn't mention, the ergonomics, yes, this is a bit grippier, but I don't really notice much of a difference there. Uh, the This part of your hand and how much traction you're getting from this part of your hand honestly usually doesn't matter that much, and you're locked into this pretty darn well anyway. So, yeah, technically the G10 one's a bit grippier, 
but I don't I don't think you're really going to notice it in use. I think it's honestly if you just want that titan if you prefer a frame lock, you know, then get this version. If you prefer the liner lock, get get the get that version, but you're going to pay a premium to get that frame lock. Um more premium materials, titanium, all that stuff. Uh, I think it's, uh, but it's, you know, uh, on the website right now, it's $50 difference. So you got to figure it out. Other than that, they're pretty much freaking identical. So it is up to you. And especially, you know, if you want the black wash, you've got to get that. So, uh, but I'm a big fan. Overall, uh, this knife has, has very much enamored me. Uh, quite quite happy with it i thought i would like it from the pictures i like it better than i thought i would you know once i got it and it's kind of the same way with how the uh where did i put it how i the uh steel wheel resonant got me you guys know this made one of my top 10 of the year lists and this is a knife that i thought looked kind of cool and then when i got it i just fell in love with it so yeah i think um i think this is kind of the same boat i i like these tie frame lock steel wheels and and I like the higher end D2 steel wheels. It's just, uh, yeah, the, I think this is going to be a big hit this year. I really do. So uh, when you see them pop up on other websites, or if you're in a hurry and you want to get one now, make sure you get it. Go to steelwheel.com and, and get that. Uh, but they will be appearing other places shortly. So hope you guys have, en have enjoyed this. I've definitely enjoyed having this knife in my pocket the last few days. It's uh, really, really cool. So uh, check them out, steelwheel.com, or you know, keep an eye on your favorite retailer. I've been Brian. Have a good one.